Did you know that the first programmer in history was a woman? Some of the most important inventions in the industry were made by women. This is what I want to talk about right now. Hi, my name is Masha, I'm the Coding Blonde. I've talked about my fascination with stereotypes before, but now I want to discuss one in particular, and that's the stereotype that exists in the tech industry. When you hear the word programmer, what image comes to mind? Probably of an antisocial male that sleeps during the day, works at night, and only survives on caffeine. Although the caffeine part might be true. Why do we have such an image of programmer? Yes, it's a stereotype, but how did it form? This is what I want to talk about right now. Did you know that the first programmer in history was a woman? Yes, it was Ada Lovelace, Lord Byron's daughter. Oh yes, the crazy poet. She's considered to be a Victorian era programmer because in her research with Charles Babbage, she wrote the first algorithm that was considered to be a computer program. You probably wouldn't believe this, but in the dawn of computers, women were the ones writing software while men were focusing on hardware, which is supposed to be the harder and the more important thing to do at the time. Some of the most important inventions in the industry were made by women. For example, Grace Hopper, who invented the first programming language that used words instead of numerical sequences. And she also popularized the term computer bug. In the 1960s, this was the industry where women could really succeed. Cosmopolitan. Yes, the magazine where you can get all sorts of tips nowadays. Published an article advertising a prestigious industry where women could really flourish because there was no sexual discrimination when hiring. <laughs> And of course, the article is pretty naive and quite sexist, but the fact that it was published in one of the most mainstream magazines really reflects the fashion and the atmosphere of the time. Once men realized that computer programming was a profitable field, they formed professional associations and unions, creating campaigns and ads to discourage employers from hiring women. They claim that women are inefficient, superficial, prone to making errors, oh, and also getting pregnant, yeah, carrying their babies, because someone has to. Meaning that they cost much more than the male employees. So a PR campaign was put in place, introducing new hiring requirements and tools, making it increasingly more difficult for women to get the job. We found some adverts that were circulating around those times and they're simply shocking. But the thing is, they worked! Employers were now looking for what was described as the ideal programming mindset people with white color traits, and also those who display, and I quote, disinterest in people and dislike activities involving close personal interaction. Bingo. And that is how the stereotype was formed. As you can see, this has obviously discouraged women from entering the industry, but it has also created the image of computer programmers as being geeky and antisocial. And these stereotypes are exactly what has created the gender gap in the industry. Don't get me wrong, I'm obviously not blaming anyone for what has happened, and I'm definitely not saying that men are evil. The society was different back then, and also this is not the worst thing that has happened in the history of mankind. But I believe that it is important to understand that women are just as capable of succeeding in this industry as men are. Knowing that the stereotypes that we have today are a result of a PR campaign is a relief. Now we just need to break them. I'd like to contribute to that as much as I can, and what's a better way of doing that than remembering and celebrating the female role models that we've had in the industry. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to hear more about female role models in the tech industry, all about all the female inventors that have changed the world. Please subscribe as there will be more videos coming up and I would love to hear your opinion of the subject. If you have something to say, please comment down there. Bye! <laughs> There's someone walking and looking into my window. He's still looking. This is creeping me out. And she also popularized the kim. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs>